Hello friends, it's been a while. Um, I'm here to answer some of your questions that uh, some people are asking about how I go about my color grading starting from camera raw. A lot of people think that um, we do um, color grading from just the um, uh, from the camera raw by adjusting the bars, that is the greens and all that. I used to do that before but um, um, recently, after I got um, understanding that um, I will still have to apply my color on the image to see the one that works perfectly, so I, I stopped using the camera raw filter to color grade, that is to boost the colors before you know doing my own color grading. For those who doesn't understand, so first of all, what I do with my um, raw picture is just to adjust the highlight and uh, shadows then a little of the exposure to check the image this is all i do while color grading with um while working on my raw images then the next thing in case you want to know how to adjust bars this i do this before while i was learning how to you know um, um work on my images to achieve results so you can do this you can do this by if you adjust you can see you can adjust this so people used to ask, how is it that the green changed from the normal green to something else? A lot of people ask that question. You see, how is it that the thing is no the normal green? So it is this is here that you adjust the picture and it is no longer going to be the normal green. I can now go from this saturation, I can go to the luminance. Luminance is to make it either thicker or bright, make it darker or brighter. So here now, luminance is making it to be uh thicker. Then here now, by adjusting it, minus seeing the luminance, if you minus the luminance, it makes the color to be darker. Like that is thick. Then here it makes it to be very bright. So by adjusting this bar, so you can see what happened now. The color of the of the um, green, the green have changed color. Because I changed the luminance, checked the saturation, and then I, I remove the saturation. Saturation means how much do you want it to be you know too too shouty you want it to be too much of greens and all that if you adjust this saturation so look at with the new luminance turned down this is what you get so in order to balance you can turn down the the uh, saturation this is how you go about if this is your aim and then for the red for those who want to follow this means to edit you can go adjust this bar and then go to the hue Turn down these um, reds a little instead of adding. If you add it, it's going to change it this way. So I'm just going to turn it a little to, to have the red. That is if this is the pattern you 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 want to take. This is also color grading. This is color grading. Color grading is just anyhow you make your colors to to come out clean. That's color grading. So whatever you do to make your colors to come out better than it was before, it is color grading. So this is this is for camera roll. So after this, I'm going to post another video of how I now do normal color grading because I don't want the video to be too too long. As you can see, I don't want it to be longer than usual, so it won't be boring for you. So this is the first step I take. All right? Remember, I told you I don't do my i don't do um color grading on this i don't use this i don't color grade here i don't color grade here anymore so i used to do this particular one i did now before but i don't do it any longer so this is it so this is now you can come here then make your adjustment do your retouching once you retouch this image now, you see that this image will pop and then look all beautiful. But, okay, let's just run through it quickly. This is just how I did my picture quickly. No much wasting of time. For so, some of you who knows that I have a lot of pictures to edit, so I use my easy um, retouching method to get things going so let's just retouch the image and you can see the color have changed just by adjusting those bars you can see the kind of green we have now so this thing you can do this 
and you still get a better result without having to buy any lot from anybody just from your own photoshop you can create beautiful colors just as we have here now okay so here we are stopping here now as you can see so here this is it you can see the color have changed so now i, I may decide to do extra with this picture using my um selective color i can do more with this color let me just go see selective but now we are working on colors what we are looking at is the color now so i'm going to go to collect selective color this is the greens so if i adjust the green bar you can see what happens to the green i can still decide to adjust this green to my own test by adjusting the yellows and whatever one result you want you can get all right but this is not where i want to go to i want a, where this picture will not be looking normal this picture is looking too normal so i want it to look somehow cinematic in 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 appearance so i'll go to go to the blacks and then i'm going to adjust the bars okay if this works better for me okay let's see you can see by adjusting the blacks Your image the result you get from your own image might be different from mine pending the kind of color that is available in that picture here we have red green and then the lady skin so so turn down a little of the yellow and here we are all right but all these things can change if I decide to apply one of my color grading preset here now I can just apply one let's try this let's try this and see what happened. so I, I created um, a layer here duplicate the layer so I could be able to adjust this adjustment layer for this particular color grading I'm applying so I can decide to adjust it the way I want it to look so now you see so I can adjust a little, turn it down a little, and here we are. So this is very easy, all right? You can do it.